The first step is to wash all our shelled peas really well. Bring a big pot of water to a boil and add a couple of teaspoons of salt. Then add your peas and let them cook for about one to two minutes. While they're blanching, if you see any peas that don't look real good to you, you certainly can cull them out. Make sure you've washed your colander back out nice and clean. And pour your peas back in. Now we gotta run cold water on them for a while to get them cooled back down, ready for the freezer. Cause they are some hot little peas. Hey y'all, our last step is some freezer bags and I just get a no name brand freezer bag. I don't spend a whole, whole lot on these. And I got quart size. Another thing, I've got me a little Sharpie and I'm gonna write the date. Today's July the 9th. 2023 and that lets you know in the freezer when you put these up and so if you've got some older ones you want to use those first and of course that's a quart bag or four cups so i've got me a a cup measure and this is you see this little enamel coated cup it's so cute um i found this at a home goods store in shreveport and the reason why i'm saying that is because a lot of you ask me Amy, where did you get those? Because it's a whole little set of your measuring cups. And it, they're cute, cute. And I loved it because this is John's uh, grandmother's and grandfather's sink. This sink that's got these sideboards on it. Y'all are on the sideboard. And this is one. And it just drains back down in here. And it's enamel coated. It just reminds me of older days. But um, y'all have asked me many times. This came from a home goods store in Shreveport. It also reminds me of this big bowl we were using. This was John's grandparents, and these look just like the ones I used at my grandparents as a kiddo, and they're enamel coated. So I just thought it looked like older days and older times, and that's kind of what this canning kitchen is out here to me. So um, I really liked it. But anyway, I'm just telling y'all that because y'all had asked me many times, where did I get those? And I like to kind of squish out, not squish hard, but kind of get out the air on these bags and lay them flat. And we'll see how many we shelled together. How many quarts? This sink was in John's grandparents' home when I was dating John. And when John had to tear the home down years ago, I begged him, please save that please save this because that's what I had in mind. One day when I get that canning kitchen by George, I'm going to put that in there. And honestly, I love this sink so much. I really would like it to be in the home, in my home, y'all. It's, it's just my favorite. I um, would really, really like it. Next, I just put them on a flat surface, guys, a cookie sheet, or this is the cutting board. And that way you can freeze them in your freezer flat and then you can stand them up if you need to in your freezer once they're frozen. So there we go, we got us four quarts. That's pretty good for our first picking, isn't it? Over here, I've got that juice, that purple hole water juice. I got it steeping overnight is what I do. So I'll see y'all tomorrow, we'll make that jelly.